So, now that all that noise around Amalanga Wafani has started to die down a bit, at least I think it has, just a little bit, just a little bit, can we actually talk about the music? Can we talk about Lane Yame, the brand new album from Mass Music? Now, I know it's going to be hard not to talk about Amalanga Wafani, and I'll get to it. We're trying to keep it positive for as long as possible. I mean, all that stuff will come later. For now though, we're chill. We're talking about the music. We're relaxed, tumnati. So let's get into it. Lenyam is the fifth album from Mass Music and it's 19 tracks from a producer who has given us hits like Senzuile, Uzosisola, Mkrimbini. Now, if I just say those three names, you already know where in the food chain we are at here. We're at right at the top of the food chain, high quality music, right? High quality, clean, soulful piano music that we know mass music for. When it comes to genuinely good music that lasts, very few people do it like mass music. His music connects so well because the songwriting, the themes are on point. It's jazzy, it's private school vibes. He makes the kind of music that doesn't lose its relevance. If you go back to his entire catalog, you can still play those jams now and I can bet you now there will be people on the dance floor dancing and singing their asses off. So this is who we're dealing with, right? I just want to set the scene. The bottom line is that very few producers can touch mass music. And for the most part, this album underlines that fact. So let's talk about the concept, Lenyam. Lenyam to me seems like a statement from mass music underlining his status, underlining the fact that he has honestly been operating at the highest level for years now, doing what he does best and carving out a lane of greatness for himself, Lenyam. His ability to bring out the best in vocalists and producers that he's worked with is absolutely remarkable. And the list is long and it's heavy. It's heavy. Buona. Top shelf shit. I mean, we're talking Amos, Daliwonga, Nia Pearl, Mahu. Just to name a few, right? We're talking producers, Kabza, Puri, Ovias. We're talking fellow Lati and some newer names as well, like Lord Wizzy, T.O. Star Quality, Aka Tears, and not forgetting Clay. Guys, Clay. We need to talk about Clay. But we'll do that in a second. We'll do that in a second. Let me relax. Let me chill. But T.O. Star Quality, Lord Wizzy, Nia Pearl, Aka Tears. I just want to take a moment. Those names came through in a big way on this album. And again, it's a testament to mass music's ability to bring out the best in the vocalists and the producers and the artists that he works with. There is obviously the elephant in the room being Tavaya Amalanga Wafani. And that nasty, embarrassing, public, public back and forth uh, between Puri, something Soweto. But we're trying to keep things positive before we get into all that. So let's talk about some of my favorite tracks on the album. And they are in this order. Number one, Abafana. Let me just say, like, get it out the way, Tabaya Clay. A special shout out to Clay, right? I know this is a mass music review, but yo, guys, can we just take a second? Two seconds fast. The catalog is starting to look insane. I actually need to do a whole video about Clay because I'm and to be honest, I'm running out of excuses why I haven't done it yet. Hmm. Okay, to wrap it up, let me just say that I think Clay is one of the most talented emerging artists in South Africa. Notice I didn't say I'm a piano or anywhere in that sentence. And to be honest, I can defend that. If anybody wants to come outside and fight me on that, we can talk about it. So that is hands down my favorite track, number one for me, personally, personally. Abafana featuring Clay and KJM Konitas, top two songs on this album, and I doubt it's number two. So, moving on, number two, Ubu Shebako, featuring Akatiyas, Pori, and Tuli Pongolo. Yeah, that's right. Look, the Tuli P feature caught me off guard. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I even had to check her Spotify to see what's up. And yeah, it's true. This is her first song credit ever. 
ever, ever, ever. She's got a producer credit on this track and um, I was, and I'm still shocked. She's credited as a producer on the song. Now, obviously, Nele Motoa Puri or Resale Motoi, I guess, sure. But I didn't know she dabbles in production as well. I honestly didn't know. Let me know if you guys knew. But to have this as your first production credit, yeah, no. <laughs> Shout out because from the bass line to the vocals to Akatias, it's a beautiful track from top to bottom. Hoiwa, Kentotum Nati, Tse Lovely. One way. Shout out to everybody involved in Ubu <laughs> Number three is Kuzega with Amos and Lord Wizzy. How do I even start to chat about the combination of mass music and Amos? We need to have a separate chat about that because this combo. <laughs> For real, this is one of the most goated combos in piano. Period. It's more of that absolute beautiful smoothness. The bass guitar and Amos just... Amos just doing Amos things. That combo of mass music and Amos. We need to make time to actually talk about that combo and the catalog of music that they've put together, right? So that's Kuzega with Amos and Lord Wizzy. Shout out. Next up is one that's probably not going to be a favorite for a lot of people. Or maybe it will. Maybe it will. <laughs> Guys, my Zulu, my Zulu is freaking terrible, so forgive the accent. Inganyomund with T.O. star quality. Guys. As of this album, as of this track, I am now a T.O. star quality fan. I love this track. T.O. star quality delivers exactly that star quality quality this is a standout track for me and i hope you guys like it as much as i do let me know let me know let me know then we have uzobuya featuring akatias and lord wizzy these two names keep coming up and they keep showing up all the way throughout this album they came through proper we'll talk about that right but hi bafit uzobuya is too much it's too much vocals on top of vocals on top of vocals Bass guitar going crazy, guy. He is so simple, so clean. Uzobuya featuring Akatias and Lord Wizzy. And finally, Panisha with Dali Wong. Now, admittedly, I can be a bit harsh on Dali Wong because I think he's a phenomenal talent. That voice, we know that voice. That voice, we know that voice. We know what that voice can do. And Sometimes I'm a bit harsh on him because I think the his songwriting can be a bit dodgy um, sometimes. And honestly, I think he should be further and bigger than where he is right now. I don't know. Maybe a bit harsh. But it's one of those things where you believe in the artist so much. And, you know, it's just not... It's just not coming together in the way that you think it should. I think I think Dali Wonga should be far bigger than what he is. But... On this track, I will gladly shut up. I will gladly shut up because Vele Vele or Panisha on this track comes through hella nice, man. From beginning to end, I can't complain about this track. Panisha featuring Dali Wonga. Spectacular. Give me 14 of them right now. Those are my favorite tracks on this album. And before we leave here, I just want to say a special mention for Jigeleza with Nia Pearl and Mahu. <sighs> that combination, Nia Pearl and Mahu, guys, it's just, it's beautiful, it's soulful, it's, those voices are something else. So Jigeleza with Nia Pearl and Mahu, special mention, deserves a special mention. So those are my favorite tracks. So before we get into some of the things I didn't like so much, can we do that? My biggest criticism of this album is a lack of experimentation and variety. Let me cook, let me cook. If I told you Mass Music has a brand new album out, tell me what you think it sounds like. I think most people would be about 70 to 80% on point because Mass Music has a sound um, he has a style 
that we all know, that we all love. Don't get me wrong. I love it too. And it's, you know, it's one of those things. It's a good and a bad thing. I'm always keen to see artists experiment and push themselves and the culture and the music that they produce forward. Just, you know, show us what, what you got. Because we know you got it, right? And I tend to be harsher on the artists that have shown themselves to be incredibly talented. That's just me and it doesn't apply to everybody. For a lot of people, an artist giving them what they're used to, nothing too far out the bag, will be great. For me, not so much. I love this album. Don't get me confused. I do appreciate that private school sound. But I think get out your comfort zone. Get us out of our comfort zone as your listeners. And for me, this album doesn't quite do that. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. My other criticism is curation. I think the album would be stronger if it was reduced to about 13 or 14 tracks, 15 maximum, like he usually does. I looked at his previous albums and that's usually the range. I think 19 is a bit too long. That second half towards the end of the album kind of fizzles out for me. Then there's the issue of Amalanga Wafari. First off, let me say that I hate that it's even come to this. And I should just say that I'm going to focus on the Something Soweto version. Because we know now that that's the version that we're supposed to have. That's the version that we had for a little while. And then all of that mess happened. And now we're left with a different version. It still is the most successful track on the album. But we know that's not the version that we're supposed to get. Mass Music himself plays the version with Something Soweto. So that's the version that I'm going to talk about. Look, it's an amazing track. I think everybody knows it. I could go on and I should go on. Everybody on that track came through perfection. Something Soweto does something once again. Lipuri comes through uh, an incredible song. Um, honestly, I think it would be in the song of the year chat. Maybe, but I think it would definitely play close to midnight on Ukozi FM on the 31st of December, 2024. Tell me I'm wrong. So from that perspective, no doubt it'll do a lot for the careers of Lord Wizzy and T.O. Star Quality. This is probably their biggest song of their careers so far. Now for the rest of you gents. Ay, 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 These three gents have been giving us hits and have been in the music industry for years now. Everybody here has been playing this game. This kind of thing should not happen at this stage of everybody's career, right? You could see in the back and forth that there's underlying unresolved issues from like way back, it's pity pity days that haven't been dealt with. But the fact of the matter is that I don't think there were any surprises. Everybody knew that everybody was going to be on the song. So why would you even drop it without crediting an artist that was on the song? Doesn't make sense. Why is there no paperwork in place? Why is it not being handled privately and professionally through contracts? Why isn't this kind of thing sorted out before the album comes out? Now it's all in the public and it's just messy. And even we have opinions now. Because Rabat Lapinarona, guys. <laughs> Simple as that. Give us the song, figure out the politiki. This is messy. This is messy and it shouldn't have happened. And one last thing is that Pori and Something Soweto are huge brands. They're big artists. They're vocal artists, right? And they've all come out and said their piece. The person who's been quietest about this whole freaking mess, can mess music. The person whose song this is. The person who made this all come together. Now, all of this drama is taken away from him and from the album, and that's just very unfortunate so yeah that's my piece so yeah that's those are my thoughts on lane yam overall i think it's a strong project but it definitely could have been better with amalanga wafani it has to be said and some of the other reasons that i mentioned so for me it gets a seven out of ten. Seven fat lips from me seven out of ten for mass music's lane yam a beautiful Beautiful album that has some shortcomings, but I think seven is a good score. Could have been better. It should have been better. Whoever is in charge, please do right by Mass Music. Release that song for the streets. Let the streets feast. Give us TV, guys. 
Artening first Divika Moya wa forgive and forget. Please. So yeah, that's me. That's my review. Please make sure to subscribe, share, and drop me a comment if you enjoyed this review. It's my first one, guys. And shout out to everybody that's already subscribed to the channel. I'm definitely doing more of these. This is me promising you, looking you in the eyes and telling you that I'm definitely going to do more of these. I also do short format content. So please find me. It's Uri Music on IG and on TikTok. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do more of these plug cover reviews. My name is Uri Music and this has been Plug Cover Reviews.